Hello people, welcome back to the channel Tapa Olho Azul em Super Acadêmico and today we're going to present some funny titles of movies I mean, uh, funny when you translate back to English I'll present you some titles of movies, some movie titles in English the name in Portuguese and the translation of the title in Portuguese back to English so you can see how funny they are so let's begin and don't forget to subscribe to the channels, ring the bell for notifications, share, comments, wherever you want to do. Take a look at our social networks down below in the description. Let's go. So first movie is The Godfather. The Godfather. The, tit the title in Portuguese is O Poderoso Chefão, which translates back to English to the powerful boss or the powerful big boss actually the powerful big boss that sounds very strange for the godfather then we have the graduates graduates uh, a movie with dustin hoffman and the graduate <laughs> in portuguese we have uh, a primeira noite de um homem which in English translating back would be the first night, the first night of a man, uh, the first night of a man. I think uh, in Portuguese, who, who the translators uh, concentrate on the, on the fact that he got seduced by a, an older woman and he was a younger man. So then we have the, the Green Mile, the Green Mile movie with Tom Hanks, uh, based on a book uh, poem written by Stephen King. The Green Mile. In Portuguese, is uh, A Espera de um Milagre. A Espera de um Milagre. Which translates back to English as um, Expecting a Miracle, Inspecting of a Miracle, something like that. Which is, this is a good title for the story of the movie. Uh, the Green Mile in, 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 in Portuguese would be poor, not, uh, not very descriptive. Descript descriptive title for the movie. Then we have The Hangover, uh, that movie with the, the four, four guys, three guys, that goes to Las Vegas during a, the the bachelor party of one of the, the friends uh, in Portuguese it's ridiculous si bebe não case translating back translating back to English would be uh, if you drink don't get married if you drink don't get married it doesn't make any sense I think because this, the meaning of the movie is not about drinking uh, although it's about a hangover but it's not a hangover it's a effect of a loss of memory the wild bunch the wild bunch is a western a famous western directed by Sam Peckinpah and in, in Portuguese the name is meu ódio será a sua herança which translates back very strangely to English as my hate will be your inheritance. My hate will be your heritage. Something like that. Inheritance. My hate will be your inheritance. It doesn't make very much sense. Because in the end everybody dies. There is no inheritance. Uh, next movie is... Uh, is it's a wonderful life it's a wonderful life which in portuguese uh, was translated as uh, a felicidade não se compra a felicidade não se compra which in translating back to english would be uh, happiness happiness doesn't buy um, happiness is not for soul it's for sales something like that uh, happiness you can buy happiness yeah I don't think the best translation would be you can't buy happiness but it's not 
even close to It's a Wonderful Life. Funny, uh, who watches these movies doesn't understand why it is uh, It's a Wonderful Life because the, the, the character played by James Stewart suffers all over, all, 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 all over the movie, all the movie long. Then there is the Miss, Miss Doubtfire with Robin Williams, the late Robin Williams. Miss Doubtfire, and it's translated in Portuguese as uh, Uma Babá Quase Perfeita, which back to English would be uh, a nanny almost perfect, a, a, a now most almost perfect nanny, a now most perfect nanny. That's that's weird. Uh, I think I don't know if it works or not, but it's how the movie is known here in Brazil. Then there is Goodwill Hunting and the movie with Matt Damon and Robbie Williams again. Goodwill Hunting, which was translated in Portuguese for Genuine Indomável, Genuine Indomável, which would be translated back to English, uh, Undanamo. Um, and un, un, untamable, untamable genius, untamable genius, which works. I think it works with the story. Untamable, untamable genius. There is the 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 western, another western, directed by Sergio Leone, the famous, the good, the bad, and the ugly, with Clint Eastwood, and. Live and Cliff. So the good, the bad, and the ugly in Portuguese was translated by three, uh, três homens em conflito. I was saying in English before, três homens em conflito, which translates back to English, three men in conflict. Three men in conflict. That's so strange. The good, the bad, and the ugly is a beautiful, nice title, and it would be great in Portuguese. It would be very very strong title and finally uh, the, the most strange translation version I guess in my opinion is the movie Airplane that comedy of uh, the uh, late 70s which uh, parodies the the, the the catastrophe movies with uh, planes crashing uh, okay. Uh, airport uh, the series of movies called airport and airplane and the title in Portuguese was Aperte os cintos o piloto sumiu which translates back to English fasten your seat belts the pilot has gone missing <laughs> that doesn't make any sense with airplane airplane it's a simple word Fasten your seat belts. The pilot has gone missing. Imagine that. So that's our list for now. If I get some other funny titles in English that was translated in Portuguese in a funny way, I share with you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channels, ring the bell for notifications, share the video, comments if you like, give suggestions of titles uh, that you would like to know how it uh, it was translated in, in Brazilian Portuguese and see you next time bye